Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are and whenever you get to join this event, our process. We are Journey with Jesus. I'm your tour guide, Dr. Jan, and I am so glad you are able to join me today. Realizing that a journey is many steps. And it must start with the first. So if you are just joining us, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please make sure you like, you follow, you share. This is going to be shown again on or uploaded to platforms such as uh, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, and you may be watching from one of those areas as well. This journey is now started because there were so many things that I um, felt that God is sharing with me. So this is not like me preaching to you. These are the things that God is telling me. And I have so many friends and I have acquaintances and people that on my heart, I really want you to know Jesus. And it's for all ages. I believe that what I share, even though it's not specifically targeted for children, they can hear this. So if you have young children that you would like for them to be able to listen, this is child-friendly Jesus talking to us. Well, today and again, I want to keep it as short and focused and brief as we can, only because in this world we live, we are moving from event to event to event. And I am so glad that you are with me. So let's just start. This came in my, um, as I will call it, wheelhouse. I've said that to someone else earlier today. That it helped me to think about what is the peace that God wants to provide for us. And knowing that as we go to a journey, we're not going to be instantly fixed. There may never be an instant fix until we are translated and in heaven. But every day, our goal should be to be more and more like Him. And everybody is on a different place in their journey, but we're all headed in the same direction. So let's give love and peace and patience to those who might be ahead of us or those who might be behind us. Because so often we want to judge. Well, let's quit judging. God doesn't judge. There is now no condemnation to those who love the Lord and are in his presence. So this is what from Jesus calling my, and this is God talking, my face is shining upon you, beaming out peace that transcends understanding. You are surrounded by a sea of problems, but you are face to face with me, your peace. Hear that? Oh my goodness. The world around us is crazy right now. Crazier than most of us have ever seen in our lives. But we can have peace when we are facing God face to face. As long as you focus on me, you are safe. If you gaze too long at the myriad of problems around you, you will sink under the weight of your burdens. When you start to sink, simply call out, Help me, Jesus, or just Jesus, and I will lift you up. You know, I always like to think about that song, Jesus, take the wheel. And we also need to think at this point, how do we train our children? We are God's children, and we want them to trust us. Hold our hands as we cross the street when they're little. Look me in the eye, and I will tell you the truth. So let's remember, and unfortunately, there may be those who are watching and listening, you didn't have that safe loving relationship with your father or parents. God is above and beyond anything we could think of our earthly parents. Back to Jesus calling, and this is God talking directly to us. The closer you live to me, the safer you are. Circumstances, circumstances around you are undulating. I like that word, undulating. Think about a bubbling brook and it's perking up. And there are treacherous looking waves in the distance. Fix your eyes on me, the one who never changes. By the time those waves reach you, they will have shrunk to proportions of my, his design. I am always beside you, helping you face today's waves. 
The future is a phantom seeking to spook you. The shadows of tomorrow rob us of the peace of today. Now, hey, I hope to, I'll have to re-listen to that one because you know we always talk about, write that down. The shadows of today prevent you from the peace for today. Wow, that was profound. And I just, I just said that. Whoa! But you know what? Unfortunately, we'll have to look. Maybe somebody else said it and we have to give them credit. Laugh at the future. When's the last time you had a good laugh? Laugh at the future and stay close to me. Those are the words for our journey today. And I am so thankful that you have spent time with me. Again, this has been Journey with Jesus, tour guide, Dr. Jan. And I hope that you like, share, and comment because we are on this journey together. And please work on making that light inside of you shine because you may be the only Jesus others may see.